What's up dudes? Today we're wave fishing on Hutchinson Island. From the St. Lucie power plant to the Fort Pierce Inlet, there's a place I call wave fishing heaven. Endless mangrove shorelines of the Indian River Lagoon, combined with free parking galore, makes us a wave fisherman's paradise. Today's adventure takes place at one of my favorite spots, Bear Point. So if you really want to catch fish while wading Hutchinson Island, you better catch some live bait. Some days it's easier than others and you might have to try a few spots, but the bait is there and it's essential. The ideal baits here are finger mullet and greenies. You know, I'm not kidding when I say live bait is the key. Sometimes you could throw every lure in your box with no luck, switch to live bait and immediately start hooking up. If I have to, I'll spend more time catching bait than actually fishing. Right here, I just scored a net full of greenies and I'm gonna put it in the wade bucket and drag it behind me as I'm fishing. Keep in mind that greenies are weak baits and they'll die quickly. Make sure that they go immediately in the wade bucket and remember they don't last long while traveling even with a bubbler. You wanna keep them as fresh and lively as possible. Now that we have our live baits, let's cruise the mangrove shorelines looking for a bite. The snook will be lying deep under the mangroves or just off them a few feet, but most of my fish are coming from deep underneath the mangroves. I use anywhere from 20 to 40 pound test leader. 20 to 25 pound test gets more bites in clear water, but it's easier for the snook to break you off in the mangroves. 30 to 40 pound test I'll use in murky conditions or if I know there's been larger fish around. But for me, 30 pound test seems to be the ideal leader size for wade fishing around here. Here's a little tiny baby snook, but don't get fooled, there's some big ones cruising around these mangroves. As far as other species go, you can definitely get into some trout and less likely redfish, but we're in the southern Indian River Lagoon, which has lost a lot of seagrass in the last decade. So trout and reds may be hard to come by, but every once in a while, I'm not surprised to get a gator trout on the other end of my line. And if you can't find the trout and reds, don't worry, because there's tons of other species. There's flounder, jacks, ladyfish, mackerel, sharks, bluefish, mangrove snapper, goliath grouper, all of them I catch on a pretty regular basis wade fishing. But for a wade fisherman on Hutchinson Island, these dinky little snook are the bread and butter man and I ain't complaining. Now every once in a while while you're cruising down the mangrove shorelines, you'll come through a little cut with a deep hole, sometimes has a culvert pipe. Make sure you spend extra time and hit those spots because that's where the fish are. God, I 
got a big, big one in no water at all. Oh my God, it's a tarpon. Dude, big tarpon in here. Oh my God. I can't believe this. God, I can't believe that, bro. I really, really hope that we got some of that on video because <laughs> I can't believe the size of that tarpon, bro, in this little pool. Oh my God, I'm shaking, dude. Oh my God, it's like a little tiny pool with a pipe, like a little culvert. It's like three feet deep. And uh, I saw a big shadow just chilling. And I just figured it was a bigger snook, man. And I, I spent way too much time here trying to get him to bite. Dude, and then it softly bit, and uh, man, it was a big old tarpon. And I got 20 pound test, I knew that I had no chance of getting them back. Oh, bro, I really hope that came out on film, dude. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, so it's not every day that a wade fisherman hooks up with a tarpon. It's safe to say I'm pretty stoked. Another awesome thing about wade fishing on Hutchinson Island is that even on the windiest days, you can find shelter enough to fish. And if in the river the fish aren't biting, you can just walk over to the beach and go surf fishing. Oh, little baby manatee. Oh yeah, and you might run into some large creatures like manatees, dolphins, and sharks. Just a warning, it's almost mandatory that you have to lose your biggest nook of the day up in the mangroves. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Try to keep him pinned here, drag loose. Ah, he's off. Oh, fuck. But yeah, dudes, thanks for coming wade fishing with me, and I'll catch y'all in another video. Mm -hmm.